Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel here from Monba, and I'd like to welcome you to part two of our Arnett A8 build. Uh, the lower frames we're going to be covering. Again, you will need to pause and rewind the video throughout the build. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. For this part, we're going to be basically using this little bag right here with the M2 12 screws. We're going to be using a few different pieces of acrylic, the big one on top, the two smaller ones, which can typically be found in a Ziploc bag, as well as this one right here that's got like the motor attachment. Along with that, we are going to be using the Y end stop. So you're going to want to take two of those M2 by 12 screws and screw the Y end stop into this little acrylic piece that you should have out, just like pictured here. Make sure you have it in the right direction. And then we are going to screw it into the actual larger acrylic piece using one of the M3 18 screws. The M3 18s are pretty much what we're going to use for most of the rest of this video, just so you guys know. Along with the end stop, the other tiny little piece um, that you're supposed to have, that little leg right here pictured, you're going to go ahead and want to screw that into the acrylic as well using. Uh, once again, the M3 18 screw. It's going to be going in on the same side as the end stop, so make sure you have them both on the same side of the acrylic. Once done with that, we're going to take the Y motor, which hopefully yours comes already assembled with a little piece on it, and these M3 by 12 screws and you're going to take the acrylic piece, um, the final one, and basically screw that into the top using four of those screws. Make sure that the little nub on the acrylic is the opposite direction of the plug as you can see in this clip right here. And just go ahead and tighten that in. Once you have that tightened in, we're going to go ahead and mount this uh, stepper motor to the acrylic frame, the bigger piece on the same side as the other two pieces we installed. It'll basically sit on that little L shape acrylic piece and you're going to attach it using two of the M3 by 18 screws, just like, just like I did here. You can use two of the M3 18 screws as well as, again, for all these things you're attaching, you got to use the nuts on the other side and the little nut traps. Just like I recommended in the first video, um, again, it might be easier to use little tweezers or needle nose pliers if you've got large hands and it's you know, difficult for you to get the nuts into the nut traps. And this is what it should look like. Next, we're gonna actually stick it onto the big frame. We're gonna be using two of those M3 18 screws on each side, so a total of four, just like pictured here. It should pop right on to the two little kind of uh, knobs or, uh, I don't know, brackets kind of sticking out on the bottom side. It might be a little bit of a tight fit, but you shouldn't have to force anything. It should kind of just slide into place. Once done with that, we're going to take this other piece of acrylic as well as the, so there's two, and the piece that's basically got these little bearings on it for the belt, and just going to go ahead and attach them to each other using two of those M318 screws. It doesn't matter which side you do it on, just make sure you don't do it upside down. It's relatively easy. Also make sure that the nut that's holding those two uh, bearings in place is tight. Mine was really loose and almost falling off. Then you're going to need to get this bag of large nuts and washers and the two threaded rods that aren't the lead screws. And you're going to basically want to assemble them like this. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, so I drew you guys a diagram, but basically this is how you're going to want it. I would recommend pausing it right now, um, but basically it's going to be Every nut needs a washer, and every piece of acrylic needs a washer and a nut against it. 
So hopefully you can understand that. It's really simple. It's just, it was really hard to show. So I kind of, you know, the diagram is really all you need to see, but it's going to tie together all of our pieces of acrylic on the bottom. And once you have them all correctly in place and assembled, um, you're going to go ahead and want to use the little wrench that came with your in A8. Hopefully it came with a wrench. If not, just use a use a wrench of your, your own, like an adjustable wrench to tighten them because you want them nice and snug. But I do go ahead and kind of show you on video two here at least a little bit um, how I did it. But basically, <clears throat> you start off with doing one nut, a washer, another washer, a nut, and then you space it out and you do a nut and a washer. <clears throat> Again, literally your best bet is to just look at that diagram because it explains everything um, exactly how it's supposed to be. <clears throat> Again, all this extra video footage right now is just for reference. The, the only part you need for this is that diagram. So. Um, once again, just take a look at the diagram, pause it there, and just uh, set up everything exactly like that, and you will be ready to go in the next step. And with the next step, we're actually going to be installing the smooth rods on the Y-axis, as well as getting the bed uh, frame, as well as bed, the heated bed actually hooked up to that. So, uh, anyways guys, this has been part two of assembling the lower frame of the Net A8. Hopefully this helped you guys out a bit, um, and made it a little bit easier to understand how to build it if you're you know, stuck while trying to build this thing. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to smack the like button. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is Dana from ModBot, and I am out. Peace, guys.